Hey, this is Morgan with Do you Even Tech. Today I'm going to do another how to PC video showing you how to back up your files in Windows a couple of different ways. So, first step, we're using Windows 10 here. We're going to go to the Start menu. We're going to go to the Settings. Under Settings, we're going to go to Update and Security because you see Recovery and Backup is listed here as well. Surprise, surprise, you can see my system is wanting to do some system updates here. Well, we're not concerned with that right now. Let's go ahead and go to the backup tab. Let's full screen this. Under the backup tab, you have backup using file history. And this is what I'm going to show you first, but you also have this older backup style like it used to be in Windows 7. So we're going to do add a backup drive. You can see I've attached a USB drive. If you click USB drive, you'll see that it does turn on. It says automatically back up my files. If you click more options, you're able to actually see what it's going to back up and when it's going to back it up. You've got some different settings on, uh, you know, if you just want to back up your stuff daily or uh, different things like that. So you can have, the larger your storage is, probably the more often you could back it up. Uh, you could have it keep them for a certain amount of time. Uh, until space is needed is probably a pretty good option for you know small to medium sized drives it at least will store it as long as it can or remove some of these less important drives like this save games and things like that you can exclude folders from it because I, I wouldn't want you know saved games and things like that to be on there so to save some disk space I would probably remove some of these drives here and just say that they're not they're not needed to be in that backed up stuff. So, um, but definitely be sure that you have anything that you think you might use in there. Cloud Drive is probably already backed up somewhere else, so that's slightly less important to me. But that is how to use it in the new Windows 10 backup. It lets you use file history, which can be fairly handy sometimes. So. I'm going to say stop using this drive because I want it to disconnect so that I can show you Windows 7. So now, we showed you the Windows 10. This is the new feature. It's supposed to be their file history. It's pretty quick. We're going to go ahead and go to the old style backup, Windows 7. When you open up Windows 7 backup, it looks a little bit more familiar to me. This is what I'm used to for sure, um, using in the past. It has a system image, create a system repair disk. Uh, you can set up a backup here. And um, with a larger drive, I would definitely go ahead and let it create a system image. But with this smaller flash drive, we won't be able to do that. Uh, but this gives you a full snapshot of exactly how your computer looks at the time the image is taken. So it would have to be retaken later on when changes were made where... Um, some of the file backups like the Windows 10 and the automatic file backup in this is just going to back up files so a smaller amount of space and shouldn't take near as long. So let's go ahead and set up a backup. I'm going to select the USB drive. It says right here it does not have enough space to store a system image. So if you were to attach a larger drive it would want to go ahead and take a system image as well. So you can say let Windows choose um, I think it, I believe it automatically wants to to do a system image. Well, let's just look and see. System image included. So it is wanting to take a system image that's not available for me. Um, but you could, if you had a large enough drive, go ahead and do that. And you can see the schedule of when it will back up right here. And of course, you can change that. I'm going to go back though and say, let me choose. And so here you can see I can choose. Um, to take off the system image and I can just take uh, my files, my data files it has the option to select specific files on that too but in most cases most of your data would be saved in this anyway so you can just hit next and it would start the process of backing up and also give you uh, a way to set the schedule here as well too so pretty nice a uh, really good way to keep your data safe. Um, swapping out drives as well is another really good thing to do. If you have a couple of drives that you're backing up to, 
it is really good to have one drive that's called a cold backup that is completely disconnected from uh, your computer, electricity, um, the ability to be damaged from, from most anything under normal circumstances. So um, that one, you know, can be put up in a safe place, in a fireproof box, whatever, to, to protect it. And then you rotate back and forth so that you've always got one that's in a protected place. This is Morgan with Do Even Tech.